Good evening, visitors. The vessel that you see arriving is the Walter J. McCarthy, Jr. The Walter J. McCarthy, Jr. was built at the Bell River in 1977 by the Bay Shipbuilding Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 1,000 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 56 feet in depth. She's powered by four 3,600 horsepower, 20 cylinder General Motors diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots, or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The McCarthy has 37 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 11 by 56 feet, and she has a maximum carrying capacity of 78,900 tons. Above her deck, that thing that kind of looks like a crane, is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of first equipment. The Walter J. McCarthy Jr. is owned and Good evening, visitors. The 
vessel that you see departing is the Arthur M. Anderson. The Arthur M. Anderson was built in 1952 by the American Shipbuilding Company at Lorain, Ohio. She measures 767 feet in length, 70 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by a 7,700 horsepower Westinghouse steam turbine engine, which gives her a top speed of 13 knots, or about 15 miles per hour. She's also equipped with bow and stern clusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Arthur M. Anderson... Fitzgerald missing through the Coast Guard and assisted in the search for the Fitzgerald. 